Is your Samsung dishwasher busted? Well, you've come to the right place. Today's repair guide will teach you all about two error codes, troubleshooting, and simple repair tips. For more information on how to fix your appliance, check out the Appliance Helper's official website. We cover countless makes and models. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Samsung dishwasher error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code 1E. Problem. Clogged filter error. Fix. Clean the fine filter at the bottom of the dishwasher. Code 3C. Problem. Pump operation error. Fix. Turn off the dishwasher and then try to start the cycle again. Code 3E. Problem. High temperature water supply error. Fix. Verify the hot water supply is not set above 176 degrees Fahrenheit. Code 4C. 4E. Problem. Water supply error. Fix. Verify the water pressure and temperature meets the water supply requirements. Code 5C. SC. 5E. SHE. Problem. Drain error. Fix. Inspect the dishwasher's drain connection at the sink. Check the drain hose. Code 7E. Problem. Water wall reflector error. Fix. If you have recently unboxed the dishwasher, verify the packing tape has been removed from the water wall reflector. Allowing it to move. Check that the reflector is installed in the correct position and is not blocked. Code 9E. Problem. Low water level error. Fix. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. Code. App. Problem. Access point mode. Fix. If you are not trying to connect it, turn off the dishwasher and turn it back on again. Code. B. 6E. Problem. Button error. Fix. Turn off the dishwasher. Touch every button on the panel. Code. CE. Problem. Communication error. Fix. Turn off the dishwasher and try to start it again. Code. HC. 1E. Problem. High temperature heater error. Fix. Switch the power to the dishwasher off 30 seconds and then on again. At the circuit breaker. Code. He error code. Problem. Heater error. Fix. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. Code. LC. Low. Problem. Leakage error. Fix. If you see a leak, see the guide for dishwasher leaks water. Code. OC. OE. 0C. Problem. Over level water error. Fix. Inspect the dishwasher's drain connection at the sink. Check the drain hose. Code. PC. Problem. Zone wash error. Fix. Turn off the dishwasher and then try to start the cycle again. Code. P. Problem. Half load function error. Fix. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent and run a half load cycle. Code. T. Problem. Temperature sensor error. Fix. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent and run a normal cycle. If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Samsung dishwasher troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Auto and Express 60. This means the panel detects a stuck button. Turn off the dishwasher. Touch every button on the panel. If any buttons are not working correctly, or the error code returns after turning the dishwasher back on. Auto and heavy. This means there is too much water in the dishwasher. This is often related to a drain issue. Inspect the dishwasher's drain connection at the sink. Check the drain hose. Run water in the sink that the dishwasher is connected to. Clean the drain, filter, and sump in the tub. Auto, normal, and express 60. This means the panel detects a stuck button. Turn off the dishwasher. Touch every button on the panel. If any buttons are not working correctly, or the error code returns after turning the dishwasher back on. Auto and normal. This means the dishwasher is too hot. Empty the dishwasher add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. If the error still occurs, switch off power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Auto. This means the water pressure or temperature is not correct. Verify the water pressure and temperature meets the water supply requirements. Floodsafe hoses are not compatible with Samsung dishwashers and should not be used. Verify the water supply is turned on. Delicate and quick. This means the sensor cannot detect that the door is closed. Make sure the door is closed properly. Delicate. This means that the dishwasher can't drain. Inspect the dishwasher's drain connection at the sink. Check the drain hose. Run water in the sink that the dishwasher is connected to. Clean the drain, filter, and sump in the tub. Express 60. 
This means that the water pressure or temperature is not correct. Verify the water pressure and temperature meets the water supply requirements. Flood safe hoses are not compatible with Samsung dishwashers and should not be used. Verify the water supply is turned on. Heavy. Delicate. Quick. This means that the temperature sensor is failing. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. If the error still occurs, switch off power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Heavy. Delicate. And smart auto. This means that the temperature sensor is failing. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. If the error still occurs, switch off power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Heavy and delicate. This means that the heater is failing. Empty the dishwasher. Add detergent. And then run a normal cycle. If the error still occurs, switch off power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Heavy and express 60. This means that the dishwasher is unable to heat. Heavy and quick. This means there is too much water in the dishwasher. This is often related to a drain issue. Inspect the dishwasher's drain connection at the sink. Check the drain hose. Run water in the sink that the dishwasher is connected to. Clean the drain, filter, and sump in the tub. Heavy, quick plus, and smart auto. This means that the temperature sensor is failing. Empty the dishwasher, add detergent, and then run a normal cycle. If the error still occurs, switch off power to the dishwasher at the circuit breaker. Heavy and quick. This means that the dishwasher is unable to heat. If you're looking for help fixing your Samsung dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Samsung dishwasher repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Samsung manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Samsung appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Samsung dishwasher not cleaning. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the valve is clogged or defective, the dishwasher won't get enough water to clean dishes properly. If the water inlet valve is clogged, replace it. Do not attempt to clean the water inlet valve. Cleaning the valve could make it more likely to fail. Samsung dishwasher not draining. Drain impeller. The drain impeller pushes water through the drain hose and into the garbage disposer or drain line. If the impeller is broken, replace it. Samsung dishwasher buttons not working. Touchpad. First, confirm that the dishwasher display is working. If the display is still working, try pressing some of the touchpad buttons. If some of the buttons respond correctly but others don't, it is likely that the touchpad is at fault. Some manufacturers sell the touchpad separately from the control panel. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the touchpad and control panel together. If you cannot replace the touchpad individually, replace the touchpad and control panel. My Samsung dishwasher has blinking lights. Heating element. The heating element heats up the water to operating temperature. If the water doesn't reach the proper temperature after a set amount of time, a light on the control panel might start flashing. To determine if the heating element has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the heating element does not have continuity, replace it. Samsung dishwasher leaking. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the water inlet valve is stuck open, the dishwasher will continue to fill with water until the dishwasher leaks or overflows. If the water inlet valve is at fault, replace it. Water inlet valves are not repairable. If the valve is defective, you must replace it. Samsung dishwasher leaking from motor area. Impeller and seal kit. First. Try to determine the source of the leak. If the water is leaking from the motor shaft area, the motor shaft seal is likely defective. If the seal is defective, replace it. Some manufacturers sell the seal independently of the impeller. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the impeller and seal together. Still, other manufacturers require that you purchase the entire pump and motor assembly instead of the impeller and seal. It is usually more cost effective to replace the impeller and seal kit rather than the pump and motor assembly. Samsung dishwasher won't start. Door switch. The door switch prevents the dishwasher from running while the door is open. If the door switch is defective, the switch will prevent the dishwasher from running even when the door is closed. To determine if the door switch is at fault, use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity. If the switch does not have continuity, replace it. Samsung dishwasher won't latch. Door hinge. If the door hinges are damaged, 
The door won't be able to latch properly. Inspect the door hinges for damage. If a hinge is bent or broken, replace it. Samsung dishwasher dispenser not dispensing soap. Bi metal. The bi metal actuator is a metal loop that acts as a latch for the dispenser door. As electricity is applied to the bi metal, it deforms and bends away from the latch, releasing it. If the bi metal is burned out, it won't release the dispenser door. To determine if the bi metal has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the bi metal does not have continuity, replace it. In addition, make sure that the dishwasher is getting enough water. If the water level is too low, the wash motor may not draw enough current through the bimetal, causing the bimetal not to bend enough to work properly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.